in a world where a number of nations across the globe are coming out to show their willingness to take their infrastructure to the next level. The African continent had been now keenly looked at to see whether it can also come out to show that it can manage to elevate its infrastructure. Indeed, certain African countries are working hard and hand in hand with already established international giants, most especially China, to also ensure that their infrastructure is up to what is necessary for their citizens. Tanzania comes out with a magnificent bridge that is changing the narrative that the country had been used to when it comes to sailing. This recently opened bridge in Tanzania, known as the John Pombe Magufuli Bridge, also known as the Kigongo Busisi Bridge, is sending waves not only across Africa, but beyond seas. This significant infrastructure project spanning Lake Victoria is the longest bridge in East Africa, connecting Kigongo in Mwanza region to Busisi in Sengarima district. Spanning 3.2 kilometers across Lake Victoria, the bridge replaces a ferry service. with a total length of 4.66 kilometers, including a three kilometer bridge and 1.66 kilometers of approach roads. It's actually the longest extra dosed cable stayed bridge in Africa. Built by the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, CCECC and China Railway 15th Bureau. The magnificent infrastructure was fully funded by domestic resources, totaling over 700 billion Tanzania shillings approximately $263.9 million. But what does this declare? African countries can leverage their abundant natural resources, including minerals, agricultural land and water, to fund development projects and reduce reliance on external aid. This can involve strategic investments in local financial institutions, promoting tax revenue generation, and exploring innovative financing mechanisms like resource-backed loans. The continent possesses vast reserves of valuable minerals, cobalt, diamonds, platinum, uranium, arable land, and freshwater resources. These resources can be utilized to generate revenue through responsible extraction and sale, contributing to national budgets. This is what Tanzania, just like countries like Burkina Faso, is striving for. Instead of solely relying on traditional development funding, like foreign aid, African nations can explore alternative avenues. This includes strengthening domestic financial institutions, like the African Development Bank, PTA Bank, and Afrexim Bank, as well as investing in local development banks. This includes utilizing resource-backed loans investing in domestic financial institutions, and tapping into pension funds for infrastructure projects. Additionally, improving tax collection and diversifying funding sources are crucial for sustainable development. Tanzania is investing heavily in infrastructure development across various sectors, including transportation, energy, and water, with a focus on both economic and social infrastructure. The country has allocated a significant budget with projects ranging from roads and railways to power generation and water supply. These efforts are aimed at boosting economic growth, improving livelihoods, and enhancing the country's overall development. Tanzania is prioritizing the development of its road network, including the construction of new roads and the upgrading of existing ones. The country is also investing in standard gauge railway SGR projects aimed at improving connectivity and facilitating trade. Tanzania is experiencing significant infrastructure development that is transforming the nation's economic landscape. From railway projects to port expansions and hydropower stations, the country is investing in foundations for future economic growth. Africa is experiencing a significant push to improve its infrastructure, with a focus on sustainable growth and regional integration. Key areas of development include energy, transport, 
and digital infrastructure, with governments, private sector players and international partners collaborating on ambitious projects. While various African countries are putting effort in order to boost their economic growth, enhance regional integration and attract foreign investment, challenges remain, particularly in financing and project implementation. In addition, corruption in project implementation in Africa is a widespread problem with significant negative impacts on development. It manifests in various forms, including bribery, embezzlement and procurement fraud, leading to inflated costs, delayed projects and reduced quality of infrastructure and services. This undermines public trust, discourages investment and exacerbates poverty and inequality. Several African countries are actively fighting corruption in project implementation by strengthening institutions, enhancing transparency and engaging civil society. These efforts are crucial for ensuring effective resource allocation, promoting good governance and fostering sustainable development. Tanzania is overcoming these challenges, hence experiencing rapid infrastructure development, particularly in transportation and energy, driven by urbanization and economic growth. Bridges are a critical component of a nation's infrastructure, making it possible to move raw materials and finished goods to factories, warehouses, suppliers, distributors, stores and end consumers while reducing travel time. Before this bridge, vehicles relied on ferries to cross the Lake Victoria, leading to long waiting times and safety concerns. Crossing the lake could take up to more than three hours, including delays in boarding. The bridge is now left with a task of transportation by significantly reducing travel time and improving safety for passengers and cargo. In addition, it will serve as a key trade corridor strengthening economic connectivity between Tanzania with neighboring landlocked countries such as Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. This move by Tanzania is going to greatly improve logistics and regional integration where this bridge is critically positioned to become a piece of infrastructure supporting East Africa's broader economic growth and development. Tanzania is increasingly recognized as a rising economic power in East Africa with its strong growth, strategic investments and focus on regional integration. While Kenya has traditionally been the dominant economic force, Tanzania is steadily overtaking it in various sectors and is poised to become the region's largest economy, according to furtherafrica.com. Tanzania has experienced robust GDP growth averaging 5.5% over the past decade, making it one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Forecasts predict continued growth at 5.4% in 2024 and 6% in 2025, according to Global Finance magazine. 